Hey guys, Chris and Eddie here, full-time working artist coming to you from my studio in Thailand and I'm going to show you today the watercolors that I use in all my watercolor paintings. So let's get started. I use this brand, Zubagon Pradid uh, watercolors. They come, you can buy them in a box of the basic 12 colors or you can um, buy them separately in tubes like this uh, they only come in tubes which is fine with me because i love to use them from the tube uh, i don't like to waste time um, trying to you know wet them and then you know i'm a high production artist and time is valuable to me so it's just squeezing them out of the tube and using them like that with water is perfect so let's get straight into it. Um, you know, I bought, I started off with a set of 12 to experiment with the quality and I was happy. I was more than happy with the quality. These are good. These are very good. Um, and for the price, amazing. So you can see in Thai, the Thai writing here. Silbagon Pradit. Silbagon Pradit. Super on uh, uh, watercolors, yeah. So you can buy them indiv individually. I order them on a website. Um, you know, if I'm running low on stock, like I am for some of them, I just reorder from the website and they only cost 35 Thai baht, which is freaking amazing, guys. That's about one, that's about one dollar. One dollar for a whole tube. They come in, uh, 12 millimeter tubes like this and you know some of these colors are so beautiful and you know so let's get straight into it what, what are the colors that I've got well they're all mixed up um, and I plan to order an experiment with even more you know I plan to uh, Try out some new colors too. Um, I plan to order Payne's Gray, Indigo, and Mars Black. I hear the Mars Black is faster drying, so I'm going to have to experiment with that. And I'll show you the ones that I've already got. I got Raw Sienna, Prominent Magenta, Cobalt Blue, Cobalt Turquoise. This is beautiful for ocean. Uh, rose Madder. Permanent Lemon Yellow. Dioxazine Purple. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Orange Cadmium Yellow. Sap Green, which, which I love. This is high quality, guys. This is very nice. Ultramarine Blue, Burnt Sienna, Ocean Blue. Now this is this is one of my favorite colors. I managed to get this one from a shop, an art shop in um, Ching Rai. And it gives such a beautiful ocean color, like a tropical ocean color, but they seem to be out of stock. I'm not sure if they're gonna stop producing this particular one. But it's a shame because I really love it. Siam Ruby. It's uh, Alizarin Crimson Hue. I've got Ivory Black. Ocean Green. Permanent Light Yellow. Yellow Deep. Yellow Ochre. Burnt Umber. Cerulean blue, you can see I've used a lot. I use this for most of my skies. It's so smooth, it's so smooth, I love it. And this Prussian blue, I also use it most a lot for the skies. And it gives such a smooth, um, you know, smooth texture, smooth look. Viridian hue. 
Permanent Green and Scarlet Lake. Uh, a couple or some of these I a couple of these I didn't even open yet. Most of them I've tested and you know half of them I use regularly. Like I said, I'm gonna order a few more to test out and it's a beautiful range of watercolors. Uh, if you're living in Thailand, if you get a chance to use these, I I highly recommend them. Yes, um, you know they may not be like 100% perfect because the binder. Sometimes when you open it and you try to squeeze out the paint, you get that like um, translucent uh, binder. Like um, I'm not sure exactly what you call it. Like the glue stuff that that holds the paint together. And it comes out and and you know for the price I can't complain you know when, when you squeeze them out yeah sometimes I can squeeze and maybe 10 to 20 percent of the tube I have to squeeze it out and the, the binder comes out I squeeze onto tissue and and then and then I can get and then the paint comes out so but I, first of all, I thought, oh my God, this is this is not good. But as gradually as I got more used to these paints, and I recognize the quality you get for the price, you know, I I overlook that now. I accept it. A dollar per tube is so amazing. You know, and I'm going to stick with this brand. I'm going to stick with this brand because. Um, I'm a full-time working artist. I create so much artwork and you know so so the price of the materials, the price of the paints, things like that, it's important because you know this is a business. I'm running an art business here. And so if I'm doing if I'm creating like a hundred watercolors in one day, I need the the best value for my money as I can get. And these guys, these try them out, give them a chance, and you're gonna you're gonna see that. Uh, although of course they're not going to, perhaps they don't compare to the top, you know, the most expensive watercolors on the market, and you wouldn't expect them to. But but for what you get, and for the range, look, for the range. It's over 40, over 40 um, di different colors that you can order. That's amazing. That's amazing. And, you know, Thailand continues to surprise me. I've been living here for almost 16 years now. Almost 16 years. And, you know, I'm so happy here. I'm so happy here. Let me just read from the box in case you guys are interested. Just on the back of the box here, they give it the history. And I'll just read a tiny bit for you. Supergon Colors is a range of acrylic uh, colors, oil colors, and watercolors researched and developed by Supergon University. Um, founded in 1943 by an Italian sculptor. Corrado Ferrocci, um, who later took a Thai name. Uh, Silvergarden University became the first institution in the Kingdom of Thailand that introduced Western arts and formalized the learning of Western and Eastern fine arts through the establishment of faculty, faculty of painting and sculpture. Over the years, Silpacon University has branched out to provide higher education and other humanities and science subjects, while still is the creative incubator of most of Thailand's budding artists. And down here it says they come in more than 40 intense color range. Silpacon Fadit watercolor is highly pigmented and colors that are dried on the palette are easily resoluble with water so there you go guys these are the watercolor paints that I use you know I've used a few different brands including uh, Winsor & Newton and 
I found this brand and I'm happy with it. The price is amazing. Some of the colors of these watercolors are amazing. And yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. If there's any other videos that you want me to make, uh, I'll be more than happy to do so. And so this is Chris and Eddie, full-time working artist, uh, signing out from my studio here in Thailand. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon.